When 24-year-old Mebo Atemo graduated last year with a bachelor's degree in information technology from Makere University, she was ready to take on a job and begin another phase in life. After all, Lady Luck had smiled on her and she was to go for further training abroad. But she fell sick all of a sudden. He said to me, what is, what is the swelling about? Until when they said, no, let us ch check the internal organs. So they found that the kidneys had actually reached the, the failure stage. They have actually totally failed. Later, Mebo and her mom were to learn from doctors that she had been born with one kidney and that organ, her lifeline, was about to fail. Mebo was shattered and she had to abruptly defer the plans to advance her career. 30 year old Isaac Banga also learned this year that he shared Mebo's predicament. Getting in and out of hospitals has been part of his life in the past four years. Add that with getting diagnosed for the wrong ailment, high blood pressure, it is indeed a miserable life. The doctors told us that uh, his lungs are full of water, his heart is getting weak, and it's likely his kidneys might be damaged. These two are just a tiny fraction of thousands of people who get this news each year when they visit the Reno unit on the sixth floor of the new Mulago Hospital building and are offered two solutions to continue living. To be on dialysis for life or be on dialysis temporarily. And then the only way out of dialysis is to go for your kidney transplant in, in, so far we are using India. Kidneys are responsible for removing waste from the body, regulating electrolyte balance and blood pressure, as well as stimulating production of the vital red blood cells. When they fail, all this stops, hence the need for the artificial kidney, the dialysis machine. Sometimes we are happy when a patient is dialyzing three times a week because then he or she can go back and, 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 and plan for their transplant go back to their work, go back to their near to normal lifestyle. Dialysis replaces some of the normal kidney functions through diffusion or waste removal and ultrafiltration or fluid removal. One is advised to have at least three takes in a week to survive. Someone on dialysis has to be very careful with what they eat. They must abandon some delicacies since they need just a little fluids. Isaac needs to drink water that can fill just three of these bottle tubes. If he drinks more than this amount, he will be rushed to hospital for dialysis. As for Mabel, a half liter of fluid is what she needs for the day. So, the water in this bottle is the mark. She won't eat or drink anything else. She eats basically three things, rice, posho, um, cassava. I advise to take ice cubes if she feels thirsty. If she has a lot of fluid, then she will start losing breath. Dr. Simon Eyoko says the best way to avoid kidney failure is prevention. Some of the conditions that lead to kidney failure are hypertension, diabetes, and infections. The signs of kidney failure are easy to miss. They include bloody stools, foul breath, the skin bruising easily, changes in menstrual cycle, decreased appetite, decreased sensation, especially in the hands or feet, and fatigue. Other signs are hand tremor, high blood pressure, metallic taste in the mouth, nausea, vomiting, which may last for days, nosebleeds, persistent hiccups, prolonged bleeding, seizures, slow movements, and generalized swellings. More signs include high fluid retention, urination changes with decreases in amount of urine, excessive urination at night, or urination stops completely. Potassium, when it goes up, it's supposed to come out in the urine. When it goes up in the blood for any reason, including kidney failure, it will slow the beating of the heart to the extent that the heart could stop. That's potassium for you. It is one of the worst feared chemical accumulation that we all know as kidney, kidney doctors. Many of those afflicted are poor and depend on donations. In March, three months after Isaac was diagnosed with kidney failure, he began soliciting for funds. His family and friends called meetings to get money for a kidney transplant in India. It was as if they were holding wedding meetings. This medicine that you have to buy weekly. If they are hypertensive, they have to buy the drugs for pressure. Diabetic, they must contain their sugar with drugs that are bought. But the painful reality is that whatever is saved for the transplant, about a million shillings is taken out each week for dialysis. To try to raise the money for transplantation. 
the twenty thirty thousand dollars. Remember, as they are accumulating that money, quite often they use the same money to go back again to dialysis. Even as Isaac and family welcome cash donation, what they need most are kidney donors who have to be between 22 and 45 years, and the organs have to be tested for compatibility. I tell you, this is an area that the government really needs to, be, to visit. They are doing all sorts of things that are talking about health, but issues to do with the dialysis, kidney disease, it is terrible. The Mlago Reno unit takes on about 30 patients per day, with three patients per machine. Each patient takes about four to five hours on the dialysis machine. Now, out of the six machines the Mlago unit has, only four are operational. The rest have broken down and are yet to be repaired. The nominal cost of the machine is not the problem. It is in finding where to place it, finding the people to use it, the staff, and then getting the materials the consumables. The Mlago Dialysis Unit has been operational since 2004. The unit has recommended about 20 patients for transplants in India, with all of them getting kidney donations from family, friends and others. There are about three other dialysis units in Kampala, but these are more expensive since they are privately owned. Kidney patients can survive on the machine for about 30 years, but that would not only drain their incomes, but also gradually reduce their ability to react to treatment. Florence Naliimba, NTV.